Sorry. Today on Seattle Refined. You've taken something that's the most hurtful thing to say to a woman on the face of the planet, and you've said that it was delivered by my mouth. It's desire and disagreement in the desert as the bachelorette hits Sin City. I'm pro camel, but I don't know if I'm pro camels on this date. And fashion freedom for all. I'm trying to be more body positive. Um, <laughs> gorgeous. The off the rack discovery that had this woman overcome with emotion. Plus, I do notice you have a kitten hidden in your purse. Were you hiding it from me? I think our hour is up. Our refined film critic tells you whether you should draw the line at seeing the new road trip comedy Boundaries. <laughs> Seattle Refined starts now. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Seattle Refine. I'm Guard Swanson coming to you today from the deck of Windstar Cruises Star Legend anchored right here in Lake Union. This big boat just made history, becoming the largest cruise ship ever to squeeze its way through the Ballard Locks. Smooth sailing. Meantime, the Sea of Love is getting pretty rough on ABC's The Bachelorette. Our Refine Roundtable gets you ready for tonight's red hot episode. Hey, guys. Oh! This episode begins with Becca and the guys arriving in Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's go, baby! Vegas, baby! Let's go! The first date of the day is a one on one, and it's Colton. That was probably the most cringy date ever. Now, this date begins by Becca and Colton going to the desert and riding camels. And not only are they on camels, but when they're trying to reach for each other, like, oh my gosh, come, your camel is so far away. I was like, this is the most awkward thing I've ever seen. It was not a good date. I'm pro camel, but I don't know if I'm pro camels on this date. Yeah, Colton for me was probably top three, maybe even top two until this date. And just when we thought the episode couldn't get any more cringeworthy, they, the next group date comes along and we see Wayne Newton in the flesh. It's Wayne freaking Newton. It's it's unbelievable. More like Plastic Newton, and so is his wife. And me and my mom were wondering when they kissed each other if they could even feel anything, because <laughs> it was full plastic on plastic action. The only thing that moves on Wayne Newton's body is his lips. Everything else is kind of just stuck in cement. Wayne then instructs the, the guys to recreate Don Shane with lyrics to Becca. Since the start, you began to capture my heart. Merci beaucoup. Ah, merci beaucoup. But that's when it gets awkward when Wayne Newton's like, take a little page out of my book. See me sing Don Quixote. Hey, do you like that? Now watch me sing it to my lovely wife. He does. Don Quixote. Darling, Don Quixote. <laughs> Thank you for. And his face never changes, and he goes, do you see the feeling there? And the, everyone's face is just like. <laughs> Crickets, crickets. I mean, he's a, oh, we don't know. Is he a robot? Like, we don't know what's going on. Oh, it's so much warmer out oh, here. Oh, actually, it's really warm. Yeah. Big play from Blake this week, who took advantage of his time at the group date to tell Becca that he is falling in love with her. And honestly, Becca, I am falling in love with you. Uh, I really am. I like hearing that. She's fired up passionate kisses out on the Vegas Strip, and Blake gets the group date rose. Meanwhile, Chris begins a meltdown for the ages that spans multiple days. For her not to spend time with me tonight, it makes me wonder if I even want to be here now. I'm thinking about seriously packing my bags and like leaving tonight. Chris is not looking good. He keeps threatening to go home. I'm gonna go home, but now I, I want to be here for Becca. He's not making any sense. I think Chris needs to bounce. As much as I love talking about Chris losing it, I mean, let's be honest, what we're all really waiting for on this episode is the two-on-one with David and Jordan. You're uninspiring, you, know I... you lack integrity, you lack passion, you lack charisma, you lack your own personality. David wastes the entire date basically trying to, to get on Jordan and Becca's not having any of it. You know, Jordan feels like he would be settling to be with you. You've taken something that's the most hurtful thing to say to a woman on the face of the planet and you've said that it was delivered by my mouth, okay? I feel like I'm back in sixth grade and this entire day has been not only frustrating, but it's taking away from our conversation yeah. and from our conversation and getting to know you guys and having you get to know me. David, I think it's just where we part our ways. David gets the axe. 
she gets the romantic portion of the date with Jordan, and he is the weirdest, he makes the weirdest comments. Sometimes I put him in like this, sometimes I put him like this. Oh. <laughs> I got a million different things I can do with my face. Like, I could probably, like, I mean, I could probably move every part of my face, and the slightest differences may make me look totally different. I wish we could get my portfolio out. <laughs> so basically, she wasn't having any of it. She's like, I can't pretend anymore. You're not going on anymore either. The model and the chicken. Bye. And now we've really cut the fat on this season. We're, we're down to the top prospects in Becca's class, and we're about to see kind of the emotional arcs start to play themselves out. And that begins next episode when they go to Richmond, Virginia. Virginia ABC's The Bachelorette airs tonight at 8 right here on Como 4. Changing gears, we head off the beaten track to discover a place that gives new meaning to the expression, hungry like the wolf. If you like creative cocktails as much as we do, you're going to love the photos our roving photographer Cy Bean just took at Wolf in the Fog in Tofino, BC. The Ocean View Eatery is a seafood lover's paradise with a menu that changes seasonally. These cocktails look almost too good to drink. If you want to see more, check out the gallery on our website. When it comes to hotel luxury, diamonds are a girl and guy's best friend. Thanks to AAA's diamond rating system, travelers know what to expect before they book a room. Refine went undercover with a man of mystery who checks in to make sure everything in your room checks out. I'm AAA Inspector number 31. There's a good reason why you can't see AAA Inspector 31's face. He needs to stay secret to do his job. All AAA inspections are done anonymously. So basically we show up at a hotel. There's no advance reservation, no advance appointment. We just walk up to the front desk and introduce ourselves. So basically I'm gonna walk around the entire room. I'm gonna to touch everything. You know, I'm not gonna tear anything apart, but I'm, I'm looking at the high services. I'm looking for dust, I'm looking for debris. Inspector 31 travels the country, looking for hotels that meet AAA's coveted diamond status, from the respected one diamond to the creme de la creme five diamond rating. We take the AAA rating very seriously. We are actually the only entity out there that for 80 years has been doing anonymous inspections in lodgings. It can be pretty nerve wracking when a AAA inspector shows up. Because that rating means everything to us. And that moment where you hear the, the inspector is here, you're really nervous. But then you hope it all turns out okay, and in our case it did, so we're very thankful for that. As soon as you walk into W Bellevue, it's easy to see why the hotel gets such high praise. We have guests um, frequently come and say that they're, they're really checking into an experience. It's a little bit different than a lot of the hotels that we have in our system, and that it's a little more kind of young at heart. The first thing you're going to see in many rooms is when you walk into the room is the glass shower is situated in the open between the bathroom area and the bedroom area. We are in the Extreme Wow Suite, which as you can see is extremely wow. So all of our suites here at W Bellevue come with um, its very own record player. The lobby or bathroom, um, once again, is, just, is a bit different. There are two separate doors that you would walk into. I believe they're even marked men's and women's. Um, but once you actually walk into the bathroom, it's actually one huge space. It was a combo of class and comfort that helped W Bellevue get four diamonds. And to say it's a big deal is an understatement. In total, we look at over 27,000 hotels in any given year that we're actually visiting. And of those, approximately 6% will reach the four diamond level. Well, when we got the score back, we were very excited. We were very excited. To learn more about the W Bellevue or any of the AAA's diamond properties, log on to the website. Seattle Refined is just getting started. It looks like a cocktail, but it drinks like a meal. I'm doing syrup in a cup, because with this one you get a waffle, and uh, so it's basically a chicken and waffle. We visit a local watering hole making colossal cocktails. But first, the Belltown Boutique helping women of all sizes feel great about themselves. I know it seems like something little, but being able to find something that looks good on you and it makes you feel good is important. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm Garrett Swanson. Aboard Windstar Cruises, star legend right here in Lake Union. This boat is absolutely amazing. It's the kind of luxury that never goes out of fashion. And speaking of style, when it comes to fashion, a good fit can make all the difference. I know you know that. Malia Karlinski discovered a Belltown business that makes women of all sizes feel fashionable. <laughs> Universal Standard carries chic, modern clothing for women. 
I feel great. I feel super cute. I'm happy to find something that fits me right and is quality. I'm, I'm super excited and I'm happy. That, I'm so happy I came. Customer Ana Vera Murado came all the way from Alaska to find a few perfect pieces. I heard the Universal Standard Store opened up and I was so excited. So this is my first stop while here. This is the Geneva dress in uh, what we call a fog form. This business was born when co-founder Alex Waldman was looking for something special to wear to an event. It was literally that I couldn't find anything that expressed my style. Um, I had things to shop from, but it was just a hodgepodge of clothing. She was frustrated by the lack of choices. So as you can see, I'm an end user of the product. And I used to write about fashion uh, when I worked as a journalist. And so I got to see some incredible things, but I never actually got to participate in them. Most American women are what? Size 14 or over? 16, 18. 16, 18. But the fashion world pretends like that's not true. Yes, that's right. With 67% of women in the U.S. wearing size 14 or above, it was time to toss traditional sizing out the window and set a new standard. And it wasn't until I met my friend Paulina, who is the other co-founder um, and who has um, a genius brain for business, that we uh, got together and decided to, to do this because we didn't see anything like it in the market. In the very beginning, we knew this was going to be an all-inclusive um, brand in terms of sizing. So universal standard, um, the whole idea of everyone and setting a standard um, just kind of finally emerged. Although she wasn't a designer, Alex decided to dive right in. I mean, this is a crowded industry. Was your lack of knowledge ever kind of a detriment for you? Our lack of knowledge served us very well because uh, we didn't know not to try certain things and I think that kind of liberated us. So we actually launched with uh, 3,000 pieces uh, of an eight-piece collection. Uh, it was a huge gamble, you know, it was our own savings. We didn't know what we were doing. We were hoping for the best. And um, uh, Refinery29 found us and did one article on us, and we sold out in six days. What were you thinking? Uh, well, when our heads stopped spinning, <laughs> we were thinking that, huh, maybe, uh, maybe we've got something here. A great deal of thought goes into every piece. So how is this tank top different from every other tank top? So we actually put a tremendous amount of thought and engineering into our clothing. Um, for example, you're right, it looks like a tank top, but actually it has a slightly curved hem, so it lands much better on your hip. Um, it has a higher armhole, so your, your bra doesn't show. It's a little bit wider here, so your bra straps don't come out. Each item in this line is functional and fashionable. As for Anna, seeing herself in an outfit that reflects her sense of style means a lot. So describe to me how you think these, what's the aesthetic of these clothes? Um, comfort and quality. Uh, clothes that'll fit you right and that you'll keep coming back for. I mean, I don't feel bad paying for something like this when it's fitting me right. It's so hard to find a brand that is size inclusive, you know? I mean, I know it seems like something little, but being able to find something that looks good on you and it makes you feel good is important. Actually meeting Alex in person was emotional. You're welcome. Well, um, no, no, no. It's You're not the first, you're not the last. I'm trying to be more body positive. Um, you look gorgeous. Universal Standard is helping customers change their look and their lives. And I thought I can't be alone in that. So, um, you know, creating this, uh, I was creating the things that I wish were in my closet, and it's very gratifying to see that a lot of other women um, like this kind of style as well. Malia Karlinski, Seattle Refined. Universal Standards Clothing is also available online. For more info, check out our website. Coming up on Refined, mammoth Bloody Marys that are out of control. Plus, our refined review of the new road trip comedy, Boundaries. Does this film spring a leak? Find out next. Please tell me Misty is your cat. Welcome back to the show. I'm Garrett Swanson. Aboard Windstar Cruises, star legend right here in Lake Union. The cruise ship made some history, becoming the largest ever to sail through the Ballard Locks. The prequel, The First Purge, hits theaters just in time for Independence Day. If you've seen any of the Purge films, you know the sort of murder and mayhem to expect. Way too scary for me. I'll stick with fireworks. 
Also in theaters this week, the new indie road trip comedy, Boundaries, starring Oscar winner Christopher Plummer and nominee Vera Farmiga. Here is refined film critic Scott Rondo with his latest edition of Rondo's Reviews. I do notice you have a kitten hidden in your purse. Were you hiding it from me? I think our hour is up. On paper, Boundaries sounds like one of those overly schmaltzy, ungolden pondish, dysfunctional father-daughter bonding movies I normally hate. But it's not. Please tell me Misty's your cat. You want me to tell you Misty's my cat? Who is she? My cat. She's your wife, isn't she? Vera Farmiga plays Laura, an emotionally wounded single mother who collects neuroses and stray dogs the way normal people collect stamps and baseball cards. No, we cannot take any more dogs. <laughs> Like the Piper of Mange. Captain Von Trapp, I mean Christopher Plummer, plays her pot smoking, ne'er do well father, Jack. We may not have much, but we do have respect for the law. Well, I'm afraid I find that quality very overrated. When Jack gets kicked out of his nursing home, Laura agrees to drive him from Seattle to LA to live with her sister. And as they say, hilarity ensues. But in this case, it really does, as the pair work out some decades old tension. You better let go of some of that anger, or you'll end up a pissed off old spinster. You're about one four legged creature away. <laughs> oh, dad, dad. <laughs> Vera Farmiga gives a great true-to-life performance as Oddball Laura, finding the perfect balance between sarcasm and sweetness in a role that in lesser hands would have come off as just strident and self-indulgent. She goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Christopher Plummer, who reaffirms why he's one of our great living actors, delivering some of the movie's best lines with a radiant comic zeal. Sure, the script for Boundaries is a skosh predictable, but the performances are absolute gold. I give Boundaries four out of five strays. Scott Rondo, Seattle Refined. Boundaries arrives in theaters on Friday. It is rated R. We'll be right back. Mr. Welcome back to the show. I'm Guard Swanson. Hopefully most of you will spend 4th of July relaxing at home with friends and family. And who knows, you might even start the day by indulging in a red, white, and blue Bloody Mary. Refine's John Prentice visited a local watering hole where when it comes to bloodies, you can either go big or go home. This is the Garage Bar and Grill. It's basically a neighborhood bar. We have good food. We're open 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. every day, 365 days a year. I love it. It's great. It's like the Space Needle of Bremerton. Everybody wants to bring their friends and family here when they come into town just for the Bloody Marys. The Garage Bar and Grill in Bremerton claims to have a Bloody Mary for every taste and appetite. This is going to be the grilled cheese Mary. Vodka, of course. We have four different soft, uh, types of Bloody Mary mix. The mixes range from a little spicy to five alarm mouth on fire which is not for the faint of heart. This Mary starts out with celery, cucumber, sausage, and asparagus. You know, the basics. That's the baby one. <laughs> then it's topped with a grilled cheese sandwich with olive eyes looking right back at you. One of the girls came up with putting little faces on it with little tongues hanging out. That gives it character. There's your grilled cheese. Just look at that thing. This is the biggest Bloody Mary you make. This is the Big Mother Mary. This mother starts out with a beer pitcher of ice and vodka. Sprinkle on the basics, then add the rest. You got steak, grilled cheese, sweet potato waffle fries, chicken wings, uh, hog wild wings, Skittles on a skewer. These are actual pepperoni beef straws. You can actually drink out of this. <laughs> Onion rings, sliders, candy bacon. Don't forget the shrimp cocktail and cucumber shooter for help. And done. Holy mackerel, that thing's a monster. And for only $44, a bargain. Meal and drink for two or more. But I know what you're thinking. Can I get it for breakfast? Yes, you can get this all day, every day, 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Nice. John Prentice, Seattle for fun. To learn more or watch that story again, log on to our website. All right, that's going to do for today's show. I'm Garth Swanson. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you right back here on Seattle Refined.